going to be talking about Photoshop and specifically how to select in Photoshop. And today I'd like to start off the videos by talking about our basic selection tools. So we have the rectangular marquee, elliptical marquee, single row, and single column. Let's start with the rectangle. So once you choose the rectangle tool, you can see it's activated there. If I click and drag anywhere on my image and I let go, basically what I've done now is I've selected that area of pixels uh, in this Photoshop image. If I stay on the same tool and I were to try and move those pixels, I'm not going to move the pixels, but I am going to move the selection. So I can reposition the selection quite easily. The first thing with selecting, of course, is we need to know how to deselect. And yes, you could click elsewhere. I suggest learning a keyboard shortcut. It's going to work with any of the tools we're going to be talking about uh, in this series of videos. So if I do control and the letter D, that is going to deselect. So again, with the rectangle tool, I simply click and drag, rectangle marquee, I should say. I click and drag, grab a rectangular area, and we're done. Control D to deselect. If I wanted to make sure I selected a perfect square, you can hold down the shift key. Notice if I hold down the shift key, it only allows me to select a perfect square. So holding down shift will lock the aspect ratio. Again, control D is going to get me out of that selection. If I were to apply this information to the elliptical marquee, it works the same way. So if I click and hold on the selection tool, switch to my elliptical marquee. If I click and drag, it's going to create an elliptical selection. If I were to hold shift, it forces it to be a perfect circle selection. And that can be useful in a variety of scenarios in Photoshop. Uh, now, there's a couple other ones. First one is sometimes it's very hard to gauge the top corner of a circular object. So I kind of have to eyeball it out to here and drag it and I've missed just slightly. So it's kind of difficult. And what you can do instead is if you hold the Alt key, while holding Alt, if you click and drag, it's going to select from the center. So you see how my ellipse or my elliptical selection is getting larger or smaller from the center of the shape. Well, that's because I'm holding down Alt. Normally, if I just click and drag, you can see it's going from the top corner. But if I hold down Alt, it goes from the center. And that you can apply to the rectangular marquee as well. And of course, I can combine these options. So if I hold Alt and Shift, well, that's going to create, in this case, a perfect circle from the center. So lots of different ways to select. Remember, holding down Shift will lock your aspect ratio with a, being a circle or a square. Holding down the Alt key will create the selection from the center point rather than a corner. And I'm going to leave you with one more. The other one that I use quite often is if I click and drag, I'm creating a selection, and now I'd like to move it. I'm not quite where I want to be. Well, instead of deselecting and then moving it, what you can do is hold down spacebar. And that's going to allow you to move a selection and then continue selecting. So holding down space, I can move it. As soon as I let go of space, not my mouse, I can continue selecting to grab the area that I want. So these are the basics on selecting. Be sure to check out our next set in the series where we talk about some other selection tools.